Hey everyone! Today I am going to be sharing several neutral Dollar Tree home decor DIYs. Some of these take only minutes to complete, yet absolutely stunning. All of the main supplies I used are from Dollar Tree, which means they are all very budget friendly. I love how they all turned out, and I hope you do too! Today I will be using a couple of these bamboo rings from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of two, one large, one small. I'm going to be using two packs for this project. I open them up and I'm going to be using the two larger ones and I put aside the smaller ones and I'll save that for another project. I paint the rings black with black acrylic paint. I brush that on all over both rings until they're fully covered. For this project, I'm also going to be using this wood plank from Dollar Tree or wood slat if you get them from Michaels or Walmart and 16 popsicle sticks. I'm going to trim the popsicle sticks down to the height of the wood plank so I line them up, place the wood on top, and mark the popsicle sticks. Then I trim them down. I am going to paint the popsicle sticks and plank with Apple Barrels Territorial Beige. I dilute the paint with a little bit of water to thin it out. Now I don't think I put enough water, it was a little darker than I intended, but it was still just fine. I wipe out the excess paint with a cloth just to expose more of the wood patterns underneath. Then I line up the popsicle sticks and I brush on the paint. This time I did add a little more water to thin out the paint more and I wipe it down before it dries. I turn over the popsicle sticks to paint the other side. I leave about a quarter of an inch of the ends unpainted because I will be gluing those ends to the rings. I paint the color on and wipe out the excess and I also paint the sides as well. I'm going to start off gluing four popsicle sticks on a ring and I'm going to glue them equally spread out. And I clamp them with these little metal clamps from Dollar Tree. I love these, these are so useful to have on hand. I add a dab of glue on the top ends of the popsicle sticks and then I glue the other ring in place. I clamp the top ring as well where it meets the popsicle sticks and I make sure it's completely dry before continuing on. When everything has dried, it's time to finish gluing the wood pieces. I start off with the wood plank and I add a little bit of glue on the corners. I place it in the ring and I push it down as far as it can go. Then I push a wood block against the plank just to make sure it's standing upright in a 90 degree angle and to keep it in place while it's drying. Before I start gluing the rest of the popsicle sticks around the rings, I want to secure the plank so I glue popsicle sticks right underneath it on each side and this will just give it a little more support since it is going to be used as a little shelf. Then I glue the rest of the popsicle sticks around. Now you can certainly customize the amount of popsicle sticks. You can add more to cover up the sides even more and I think that would have been pretty as well. To hang, I tie jute cord on top and I am done. This came out adorable. It's perfect for displaying some lightweight votive candle holders or succulents. It's so pretty. For the next DIY, I'm going to be using another pack of bamboo rings and I'm going to make two decors out of this pack. So for the first one, I'm going to be using the larger ring another wood plank, this home sign which I pulled off from a Dollar Tree rectangle frame, and one tumbling tower block. Just like the first DIY, I'm going to be staining this with watered down acrylic paint, Apple Barrels Territorial Beige. I 
brush that on the plank and wipe out the excess before it dries. Then I paint the tumbling block and the ring. I let it dry completely before moving on. I'm going to glue the home sign right in the center of the ring. So first I place it on top so I can mark the areas where the sign touches the ring. And then I add a dab of glue on that and then place the home sign on top. I add some glue on the sides of the tumbling block and I place that down on the center of the plank. Then I add some glue on top of that and I place the ring on top. I'm using wood glue for this project, but you can also use hot glue as well. And I am done with the first one. For the second one, I'm going to use the smaller ring and two tumbling tower blocks. I glue the blocks together, side by side, then I glue the ring on top. Since I'm using wood glue, I clamp it until it dries. Then I paint it with the same mixture, apple barrels, territorial beige, and a little bit of water. This one is going to be a little darker than the first, so I don't dilute it as much. I'm going to embellish with some greenery and a flower, and I hot glue that in the bottom center of the ring. These two make a beautiful set. You can display them separately or together. Both are absolutely adorable. For the final DIY, and apparently in keeping with the unintentional circle theme, I'm going to be making a small tray display using this beautiful glass candle holder plate from Dollar Tree. It measures about six inches in diameter. I am also going to be using two glass prep bowls from Dollar Tree as well, and they came in a pack of four. I'm going to use the prep bowls to elevate the plate, but there are so many options at Dollar Tree that you can use for the base. And I'm just going to show some options and variations that works just as well. For instance, this pillar candle holder, it looks so beautiful underneath. Or this pretty curved hurricane vase this gives it a very elegant look. For this one, I will be gluing together, bottom to bottom, these glass prep bowls. Since these bowls do come in a pack of four, you can make them in varying heights as well. So I glue together the bottoms and then I apply some around the top rim. Then I place the plate on top of that and I let that dry completely before painting. Now you can leave it as is and unpainted. I do have one unpainted and the glass is so pretty and elegant. So I'm going to paint this one. I'm going to spray paint this gold and I'm using Rust-Oleum's paint and primer in metallic gold. Definitely add a coat of sealant to prevent chipping, especially if you're putting objects on top. I just love how it turned out. Such a beautiful piece. If you enjoyed this video, will you please give it a like? And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Until next time, bye!